Before you learn to solve the cube, I have got to make sure that you understand all of the cubing jargon that I use. The 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube is made up of 26 different cubelets that come in three different types. There are six center cubelets, one in the middle of each side. Centers each have only one color and relative to one another never move. Therefore, whatever color a given center is, is the same color that its side eventually needs to become. There are eight corner cubelets, whose names pretty much speak for themselves. Each corner piece has three colors and can move to occupy any of the eight different corner locations. Finally, there are 12 edge cubelets. Every cubelet that's not a corner or a center. Each edge piece has two colors and can move to occupy any of the 12 different edge locations. As is true of any cube, the Rubik's Cube has six sides and all six of these sides have a name. The side that faces you is known as the front side and is notated with a capital F. The side that's on top is known as the up side and is notated with a capital U. The side that's on bottom is known as down and is notated with a capital D. The side that's on the left is known as left and is notated with a capital L, and the side that's on the right is known as right, and is notated with a capital R. There is one more side, the side in back, however, we don't need to use it, so you can name it whatever you'd like. Mine's name is Gerald. When solving the Rubik's Cube, we will be using what are known as algorithms. Now, the word algorithm may sound big and scary, but I assure you, it's not so bad. With respect to the Rubik's Cube, all that an algorithm is is a pattern of moves that helps us to solve a specific portion of the cube. Within these algorithms, you'll see things noted in three different ways. A plain capital letter represents a 90 degree clockwise turn of the wedge represented by the letter as though we were facing that wedge. An uppercase F for front would look like this. An uppercase U for up would look like this. An uppercase D for down would look like this. An uppercase L for left would look like this. And an uppercase R for right would look like this. A capital letter followed by a prime symbol indicates a 90 degree counterclockwise turn of the wedge represented by the letter as though we were facing that wedge. An R prime would look like this. An L prime would look like this. A D prime would look like this, a U prime would look like this, and an F prime would look like this. Finally, a capital letter preceded by the number 2 represents a 180 degree turn of the wedge represented by the letter. Because it is a 180 degree turn, it doesn't matter whether we go clockwise or counterclockwise. A 2F would look like this, a 2U would look like this, a 2D would look like this, a 2R would look like this, and a 2L would look like this. That is all of the move notation you need to know in order to understand this tutorial. If you understood everything, then great! It is time to teach you how to solve the 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube, and if you didn't, don't sweat it. This can be confusing stuff, and there is no shame in having to re-watch any of it.